whoa, get up, go, go, go. Yeah, I remember the first time I played this game was actually for the uh, Game Boy. Really? Um, it was my. I played it at my friend's house. On it came game out on Boy. the Game Boy. They they remade it for the Game Boy. Oh, that's awesome. For the Game Boy Advance, I remember. I because I I didn't actually have like. An was Nintendo. it the same game or was it like yeah. remastered? No, it was the same one. I because I never had. Uh, as a kid, I didn't really have any like video games. I mm -hmm. had a Game Boy Color. My sister and I shared one, but that was about it. I because because you know I don't know why it wasn't like my parents wouldn't let us have it or anything. It was just I guess my sister and I it wasn't really our thing. We were more into like I was really into drawing, so I spent most of my time doing that. But like I don't know. I wish I had played more games as a kid. I love them now, but I I probably would have loved them as a kid. I, I played them like all by myself. <laughs> I was just a lonely child playing video games. I'm so I was sorry. I was scared by a lot of them too. <laughs> like like the Donkey Kong, believe it or not, Donkey Kong 64, I could never really play through it so much because it always scared it frightened me. you? Yeah. Does it still frighten you today? I don't know. We I'd have to play it. It's just the noises and the 3D models. It was just <laughs> It's like terrifying. Boop boop. Nice, dude. La la la. So, I've all one thing I've always wanted is I've always wanted Oh no. I think I could have never mind. It's fine. I think that it would like. I've always thought it'd be so cool to have like a pet monkey or a pet chimpanzee. But then you you, you hear stories about the people that have them, and like they'll be like the best fucking little pet, like the best their best friend for like ten years, and then one day the thing just snaps and just rips the person's face off. <laughs> that wasn't a pet. That wasn't that. That wasn't a pet though. That did that. Yeah, it was. Are you sure? I thought it was just something at a zoo, like an orangutan at a zoo. No, this one. You can't have an orangutan for a pet, like illegally. You, you, you? Uh, you can, I think, if you have the right permits and stuff. Oh, wow. I wanna, how do you go about obtaining those permits? You know, like, like, like I, you can't, I like, the own DMV. A monkey. You know, like, the DMV, if you need, like, a, like, a, a driver's <laughs> license. They have a license. separate office for, like, owning monkeys oh, oh, and like shit. Like, the, the DMV primate <laughs> office. <laughs> just walk in. Yeah, I'd like to get my permits so I can own a, a chimpanzee. Oh, okay. Uh, please fill out this form and wait in line, and we'll call you back. It's like, like monkeys, you can't trust them because they can be so nice, and then one day just fucking snap and go Terminator on you and rip your face off. I worked on set with a monkey. Oh yeah, you you did. It was didn't uh, you? I think with the channel Random Encounters, which they're really nice guys. Yeah. That was, that, that was before I knew you. That's all I have to say about that. So real shit, Ryan. What would you do if you saw a fucking ape charging at you like this? Like, would you just give up? And be like, well, this is it. Or would you try to fight it for a bit? Shite! Ooh. Just got, just got blasted. Holy shit! That's so cool! I made it a long way through that level, too. It shows you the fucking map? Yeah, when you die. Kinda, is it... It's kind of like in the same vein of Super Meat Boy, I guess. Oh, yeah, where it shows, like... Man, I loved when I beat a level in Super Meat Boy, and it would show me, like, the 500 different attempts <laughs> I had. Ooh! Oh. Dude, you just got shot. Careful, dude. You think it takes one bullet to take down a huge fucking ape, or...? Uh, we all learned from that one meme that it takes one tranquilizer. Oh. You're, you're not talking about, uh... Shh, don't, we don't want to talk about him. You sure? Yeah. It's too sad. It is. It's, it's legitimately a sad story. <laughs> they, like, everyone turned into a fucking meme. I mean, I was... I joked about it when it happened, too, but, like, looking back, I'm like, Oh, man, I forgot about that. That shit was messed up. But now look, we're we're playing we're playing in spirit. We're avenging him. And boy, I hope this level's done, because if I get shot okay, good. Okay. Woo! Dope, dude. I'm all healed now. I found the big green door. Knock knock, baby. Uh, so have you beaten this game on your own? No. I have not. You just, I, I specifically uh... stopped playing it so I could surprise myself. Oh, I see, Ryan. I see. I like that. You wanted to save it for uh, for me and the viewers. Exactly. You're oh, like, let's, shit. let's figure it out together. <laughs> you just threw that guy so far. <laughs> I wonder, like, how far a monkey could throw me. Like an ape. Because, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a heavy dude. I'm like 130. <laughs> like, like... <laughs> Like he just spear chucks you? Like what are you talking about? Like he just picks me up and uh, with with both his big meaty hands just fucking chucks me full force. Ooh. Oh shit. Mm. Like he could probably throw me several yards. Like it like probably twenty feet or so. I'd like to test it if but like he'd have to throw me onto like a mattress or like a But I can't I also you can't trust a monkey. That's Why one not? Of the... Well, okay, well, what's the reason for not trusting a monkey? Because of their monkey rage? No, because they'll fucking snap and rip your face off. Like, you'll have a pet chimp and he's he's the sweetest little dude for 11 years and then just randomly one day, uh, he's just like, Hey, I'm gonna kill you today. Like the one that ripped off that lady's face. Yes. We all, we, the, the, everyone knows that one. That shit's scary. Monkeys are just... Up. 
Monkeys are freaky, man. That's it. I'm just gonna go ape shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, can we get a monkey for our office when we get one? A big old chimp? Not a no, not a chimp. Like a little capuchin. Oh, I would love that. They have them on leashes and shit. Because the thing is, it's like I I feel like I could fight off a capuchin. You know, like if. If that thing decides to go ape shit one day and like rip my face off, I feel like I can at least stop that because they're so small. I could grab them, like rip them off or kick them. If it's a chimp, mm, better luck next time, Matt. You're not gonna, you're not gonna win that one. But a capuchin, I have a chance of winning. I'm not saying I would win, but I'm saying I have a chance. Okay, how how big is your chance? Do you think at winning a fight with a monkey? Okay, well, I mean, capuchins are small. It'd be like fighting a little cat, right? I get like they they don't have monkey strength. They they do, but they're also so no, they small. Don't, they don't have a uh, like chimpanzee. Not like a chimp. Gorilla monkey strength. But I'm sure they can go real strong. Oh, my no. my problem is I feel like it would just bite me with its sharp teeth and just rip flesh out, and I would be in such shock from that I wouldn't be able to fight the best I could. Go for your balls. Yeah, I mean like imagine if it just jumps up and bites my nose off. It's like how am I supposed to fight when my nose is just fully ripped off? Well, then maybe you shouldn't pick a fight with a fucking chimp. I didn't pick the fight. It picked the fight with me. It's our little, it's our little chimpanzee Brent 3 for our office. <laughs> we, we buy a monkey and it, dude, I would love to buy a monkey for our office and call him Brent. Right? So, hey it, guys, so what's up? Nothing. Meet Brent. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Yeah, man, we got, we got a little, we got a little capuchin monkey. <laughs> so you decided to, all right, that's cool. Like he, he'd act all flattered by it, but you know, deep down he'd be like, <sighs> why'd they do that? Oh fuck. Whoa, shit, dude. Colors changed. God, this game is sick. Woo! Woo! Devolver is just dropping some good games, man. They are they are publishing some good ass games. And everybody knows that monkey games are some of the best games that are made. Oh, absolutely. We need more monkey games. In oh this world. my god, I almost killed myself. We, we might make a monkey game one day, guys. I would love to. Be, I don't know. Just after playing this, I'm like, can I make a? Can we make a better monkey game? Uh, we can make a different monkey game that can also be good. They coming out. They're trying to stop this monkey. They're coming out. I want the world to know. Gonna let it show. I'm coming out. I'm God. coming. What are they gonna do? I'm a monkey. I remember I was. Like if an ape wanted to fucking escape someplace, like it's gonna do it, out. dude. Like, it's gonna take a lot of manpower to stop one ape. Okay, I'm trying. That's the thing, man. Like in Planet of the Apes, yeah, we have better weaponry, but at the end of the day, like species versus species. They will always win. Like, take weapons out of the equation. If it's just species versus species, we are fucked. I mean, we're smarter. You saw Planet of the Apes. Yeah. With um, uh, D James Franco. He wasn't in it. Yeah, he was. He was in the new one. He was in the first one. Oh, I didn't John see the. Lithgow. I didn't see the. Uh, I saw War of the Planet of the Apes. Um, oh. Or Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah, I saw Rise, and it had a, it had a Draco Malfoy in it. Oh, wait, the first one had Draco Malfoy. Yeah, uh, Rise? Was that Rise of the Planet of the Apes? That was the first one. Yeah. James Franco and John Lithgow. Was he in that one? Who? Was James Franco in the one with, uh, Malfoy? Yes, or whatever? Malfoy was mean to Brutus? Yeah. Was or, that the name no, of the name? No, uh... He was mean to some ape. And, and I just remember he, like... He's like, get your, get your fucking monkey hands off me. And then he screams the classic no. classic line, he says, get your hands off me, you dirty ape. Oh, right, that's right. And then the ape is like, no! And he's like, <gasps> yeah, that's the big moment. He goes, no! Dude, that would scare the ever-living shit monkey. out of me! It's a talking monkey! I'd be like, I just witnessed the next step of evolution and I'm about <laughs> to die. <laughs> it's like, I, I wouldn't even fuck with a chimpanzee if it couldn't talk. Yeah, like, like if you, you work with a big monkey, if you work that close to fucking apes and gorillas, like why would you treat them poorly? Because you know they're gonna remember it. It's like, and then and then that one day you forget to lock the cell, boom. Oh lord. Oh shit. Woo. Okay, all right, let me. Woo. Did, did Coco the gorilla? Did she really know sign language? Like what? Like, was did she, she understand sign language, or did she just know that doing shit gave her like? Yes. That that's what I'm curious about. Like. Was she able to actually comprehend the meanings and like the the structure she of what sad she was when her doing? Died and she like signed exactly what she was feeling when it happened. So I have to feel like she understood to an extent. I love that video going around where it's like Coco's final message to the world, and it's like, "Man, bad. Man, kill Earth. Earth, cry." And it's like she's not signing that shit. Stop it. <laughs> uh, uh, fuck. She's saying Matt and Ryan funny. Watch Super Mega. I die. My dad was friends oh, with a guy who got, he went to like Thailand and then he got bit by a monkey and died.
because the monkey gave him like a disease and he died like real quick. So uh, stay away from monkeys, guys, if you see any. Monkeys are cute though. Monkeys are cute, but they're little they're little devils, man. They'll they do all sorts of bad shit. They'll bite you. They'll attack you. They'll do weird sexual things. They'll throw their feces. They'll they'll tear you apart limb from limb. Yeah, they will, dude. I, I'd rather be attacked by a pack of okay, Ryan, pack of wolves or a pack of monkeys to meet your fate. I think I could at least try to defend myself against a pack of monkeys. You can't. You like you're gonna die from them regardless. You we're not talking it. about apes. We're talking about monkeys, right? Yeah, but you're gonna die regardless <laughs> from being attacked by them. They're going to kill you. So which one? I'd probably choose wolves because I think it'd be faster. You think? And less pain because they'd rip you real quick. No. Where they, monkeys would probably sometimes they just kill for sport and they like watching you suffer. I'm sure monkeys do too, though. Monkeys don't kill for sport. Dude, as far monkeys as I are know. the most murderous beings out there. <laughs> Where's the? Are these facts? Did these you are one hundred percent facts. Planet? These are real facts. Matt's animal planet. These are real facts, Ryan. Monkeys kill for sport. They kill more than any other animal on the planet. Well, wolves definitely kill for sport, one hundred percent. Well, so do monkeys. And they have That's fun a fact. with it. They monkeys they love will killing. Make dude. your death slow. Monkeys find all sorts of creative ways to kill. They'll create little like <laughs> tools and and baseball bats and shit. To give a monkey a gun, watch what it does. Yeah, give a mouse a cookie. If you if you give a monkey a gun. <laughs> He'll only want bullets. <laughs> <laughs> you give him a typewriter and he'll just write. <laughs> <laughs> there's that there's that like thing that's like if you if you give monkeys <clears throat> typewriters, like yep. eventually they'll that's, write like Yeah, what I was referencing. What what is the what, what what's that theory? It's like they'll eventually write all of Shakespeare's work yeah, or something. But I'm pretty sure the monkeys will die before then. What is that theory? Like because I feel like I'm leaving something out. Wait, maybe maybe it's saying wait, that wait, we wait, wait, are the monkeys and that over time we evolved into beings and then the end result was the complete works of Shakespeare. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let I me... think I've cracked the Da Vinci Code, guys. I got I got to look this up, man. Let me see. Okay, monkeys. Ugh. Typewriter. Okay, monkeys, it throws me off because it's one of the only words that ends with Y, but when you make it plural, it's not I-E-S. It's just Y-S, you know? Yeah. The IES form is just a bunch of monks. It's like funkies. <laughs> Here it is. The, inf mm. the, the infinite monkey theorem. It has a Wikipedia page. The infinite monkey theorem states that a monkey hitting keys at random on a typewriter keyboard for an infinite amount of time will almost surely type a given text, such as the complete works of William Shakespeare. So it's just saying, like, if a monkey clicks keys enough, it will eventually type, eventually. That's like, that's like saying... Any stupid animal. That's like, but it would be a complete accident. There'd be like seventeen chihuahua. trillion versions of, <clears throat> you know, almost Shakespeare. Like, yeah, yeah. To be all, on... they fuck up the last sentence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, oh shit, we we're so close. New monkeys, guys. Imagine having to like, like your your hell is you have to sit in a room with a monkey with a typewriter yeah. until he types all of uh like a Midsummer's Night Dream. Well, that's never going to happen. Have you just been writing God damn it, Ross, on this fucking time sheet? No, a monkey did that with a typewriter. Fuck off. <laughs> hey, if you give a monkey a typewriter, eventually he'll type God damn it, Ross. It's just, it's just fact. If According to the infinite... <laughs> oh God, put your fucking foot in my face. I had my eyes shut because I was taking a long blink. And then you're, I felt your foot press against my face. You deserved it, son. I was taking a nice long blink. You, you ever poked do the bear with the stick. I'm sorry, Ross. And now you got the bear's horns. <laughs> <laughs> that's with the bear you get the horns I love that saying dude that's, what, that's my favorite saying <laughs> <with the> bear. <laughs> you ever eaten a cigarette Ryan no you ever chewed on one yes you ever, have you ever just like you're finishing a cigarette I told you I've taken a drink accidentally cause I usually oh. I had like a mini diet pepsi <sighs> bottle oh. and I would I would still have some diet pepsi in there and then I just put them in there screw on the cap while I'm in my car so I could just put them out easy <sighs> and I took a swig one time how good was it man very pulpy. Was it was it just like dissolved cigarettes and Pepsi? Just very soggy tobacco and wet grass, essentially. That's disgusting. With a very it ruminated quite a while. I'd imagine. It's like it's like it's it's like tasting a fine wine, you know? You gotta let it age, gotta let it sit. Gotta let it sit for a while, you gotta swirl it around. And when you when it when it hits your mouth, you really wanna like feel it. On your palate and yeah. like, like you gotta like your, different parts of your tongue, gargle it and then spit it. Yeah, out. Yeah, 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 and spit it back in because you know if you swallow that, you're gonna get too buzzed. Yeah, you know. Um, have you ever just thought about? Th there's gotta be one dude out there that like when he's done smoking a cigarette, 
he just fucking eats it. He just eats the the, the, the rest filter. Of it. Just yeah, just like the rest of it. Like he'll smoke half a cigarette and be like, ah, I'm done. And when instead of like ashing in an ashtray, he just he just pops that sucker in his mouth and I yum d- yum yum. I don't. I, okay, yeah, I agree with that because remember that woman who ate bricks. Is that what she ate? She ate something. She ate cement. Cement. It was in T- is like TLC's My Strange Addiction. My Strange, yeah, she ate a uh, she ate all sorts or of something. Shit. Man, she, she ate something that was goofy. I bet you there's someone who eats cigarettes. There's, there's probably someone who doesn't even smoke them. They just pop that pack open and just eat those bad boys. So since tobacco is a plant, right? Yeah. And you're out in the wilderness. You only have a pack of cigarettes. Can you make a tobacco salad, and will that sustain you? For at least a day? I feel like you'd get sick. Yeah. Because the nicotine would make you so sick. And also, it's like the tobacco's dried out, so it probably doesn't have any nutrients in it. Use them as croutons. To, to cr- Pick cigarettes? some leaves off of trees. Could could humans survive off of eating leaves, or is that just too much fiber, huh? I don't know. Like, I, I don't know if leaves have any do, nutritional value. Do leaves have value. fiber in them, right? Take a bite out of a tree, you're gonna get some fiber. Yeah, there we go. Get some bark. Sorry, bark is where you get how do your people, fiber. How do people starve in the woods? You get lost in the woods? Fucking eat some leaves. Eat some dirt, man. There's food all around. Eat some Eat some sticks, you know? There's a lot of things that humans, like, is not safe to eat that other animals can eat. Like, animals can just eat a dead, like, it sees, it sees a fucking carcass, it's like, I'm eating this. Or it just gets a fresh kill, it's eating this. Us humans, we gotta start gotta a fire it, you and know, shit. It's like, do we have to, though? Like, what are the chances, like... Do animals run the same risk as us when they eat another animal of getting sick or coming down with something? No, their bodies are different. Their their systems are like made for that. Where our systems have like we've, evolved. To... We've we've wussified our our system. We're little stu- We're stupid little snowflakes now. We're little cucks when it comes to eating we're things primates. in the wild. Like, like, cause they, like, think about that. We're we're pri- we're not just like a different species. We're primates. We're like we're like fucking monkeys, dude. We're primates. Isn't that weird? We're primates, like. Like you look at you look at me, Ryan. I'm in the same category as a monkey. Like, yeah, I'm a primate right as now. As a chimp, like I'm a, I'm straight up in the same family as a chimp or a goofy looking orangutan. Yeah, you're 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 in the same category as a little capuchin monkey. Do you think they look at us and see the similarities too? Yeah, probably. They're smart. Are they like? Because I know cats see us as just big cats, right? And dogs, Apparently. dogs. I don't know what dogs think. God, they think we're gods. Yeah, they're just happy all the time. Yeah. But, like, monkeys. Dude, I would love to just hang out with a monkey. Like, if I had some kind of guarantee it wasn't going to rip my face off, I'd love to just, like, sit on the couch with a monkey. It, like, walks around your house with a diaper. It's like, do you want something to eat? Like, you hear, like... It plays little bongos and shit. Yeah. Like, like that'd you, be great. You buy it, a like, a little bongo belt. It can always How have great bongos would that be? Well, like, please. a little monkey with a bongo belt and just walks around your house and just playing little bongos? You can just let them out in your front yard and they'll sit there and play in the sprinklers and shit. Let them, let them run around and just like climb trees and put little monkey bars in all around your house. Let them swing and have fun. You take him out around the Galleria. You hold his hand around and like get him some ice cream and he's eating ice cream as he's holding your hand walking around the Galleria. That'd be great, man. That would be so fantastic. Walking around the mall with you. Like they'll give you hugs and they'll give you kisses and like the monkeys will do that monkey thing where they like they grab the back of your head and put your forehead at their forehead. That would be so like intimate, not in a sexual way, but in like a primate to primate kind of way. Brush that little shit. Mm. Yeah. He looks oh, so looks so ready for yeah. like anything to happen. He has strong ass hands. He's ready. He's ready to give us both a hand job. I'm ready for an orangutan. Dude, he could give four guys hand jobs. Oh shit! Oh. He's got four little hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gonna slide another. Diaper on the boy. Touch. Ryan, how uh, how much money would you- How is he dirty still? I don't know. We cleaned him. Do I have to clean him again? I guess Fucking... so. Fucking- What I was saying was how much money would you take to get a hand job from a chimpanzee? Like, how much- Would there be any amount of money where you would feel morally okay with that? Having like a little chimpanzee- A million dollars. A million dollars for a chimpanzee to give you a handy? Yeah, but it can't- But nothing bad can happen. Like- like, what do you mean, nothing bad? Like, it rips your cock yeah, off? Yeah, it or... can't rip my cock off or bite it off. No, you just or... you just come. Like, that's what happens. Yeah, the I just come. The chimpanzee jerks you off. I just come scene. on his hand, and then he has to go to the bathroom and get some wet naps and wipe it off. <laughs> <laughs> then he's like, damn, that was more than usual, Ryan. I'm like, usual? Don't say that. And the, then, <laughs> then the camera crew's like, oh! 
What? Why is there, why is there a camera crew? <laughs> why is there a camera crew there? I don't know. This Are is you like, getting it documented? I'm like M. Night shyamalan this fucking ending right here. You didn't expect all of this, did you? I didn't you? know, but there was a camera crew there filming it. Why haven't they made a 3D platform <gasps> that, like, kind of like Banjo-Kazooie or this, but you're, a uh, you're not Donkey Kong, but you're like a, a legitimate actual ape. Uh, like, that would be a uh, ape? Uh, yeah. Kind of like a chimpanzee. Because, like, Donkey Kong Country did a lot of, like, Ooh. they had hairstyles and they had different powers. I want to, like, where you're just kind of, like, a legit monkey. I like that. You can customize game. your monkey. Oh, wait, what about- Customize your monkey. What about this? What about instead of a monkey? Wait, guys, zip line. One step further and do Neanderthals. So you're like a human- you're like- you're more humanoid, but, you know, you're like a Neanderthal. Okay. And you can like- I like You that. can get like snapbacks for your Neanderthal. I just kind of like the idea Snap of- Snapbacks? Like, of playing as like a Gibbon. Adidas tracksuit. Oh, man, Gibbons. What a- what a fucking type of monkey, Oops. right? What's, what are the what are the monkeys with the uh, Squidward like? Bruh. Th those ugly ass ones. Yeah. The ones that look like a the is it a blowfish? Yo, mama. No, what is no I know what those what are, are those called. What are those ugly fish called? Uh, McGee monkey. Oh. I saw a video of uh, uh, also some dudes eating monkey, and the interviewer's like, "Are you guys worried about getting Ebola?" He's like, uh, "I don't believe in Ebola. I don't think it's real. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, I'd be dead." I was it's like, "It's a myth by the government. It can't be that logical." Fuck do I go? Why don't these guys just shoot? You know, like they see you. It's like just pull the trigger. Because they have to aim first. Well, they they ain't even trying. They have to aim with their stupid human hands. You have to go down all thirty floors. So hold them like this, and then <laughs> God, just explode. Whoa, dude! Is that a SWAT team? Fuck. Oh this, man, this dude's got a trigger finger. If I was in a SWAT team, imagine <laughs> what's like. You saw a monkey just fucking. Like they they send a SWAT team in to take care of a fucking gorilla because it's like, what are we dealing with today? Like a like a mass shooter, like a hostage situation. Nope, there's a there's a gorilla on the loose. That'd probably scare me a lot more than having to go into like a mass shooting situation. Why is there not a horror movie about like people having to go like take care of like a fucking mad gorilla because they'll fucking like just storm through a hallway and kill you, Easy. dude? For real, there's movies about sharks, like, you know, circling boats and shit. Why not a movie where people oh, are I'm, trapped somewhere where there's a gorilla on the loose? That I'm would be horrifying. I'm sure there's a gorilla horror movie. Just look up, like, oh shit. Scary ape movie? Yeah. Why don't we write that then? Like sci-fi, like S-Y-F-Y. <laughs> so, like, the lowest tier of, yes. of horror movies? Because I remember watching a lot of those bad sci-fi movies. Like, they made a bunch about dinosaurs that I watched the shit. Time. There's gotta be a gorilla one. Why don't, why don't we write one? Ooh. You know? We've always wanted to write a short film. Why don't we make our first short film about like a like a gorilla horror movie? You know, like I want to write. If I ever write a make, horror movie, you want to write the Jaws of gorilla movies. Yeah, I don't think anyone's done it. Like, that's the thing. If I write a scary movie, the biggest thing is that I want it to scare me. Like, I want to feel scared by what I'm writing. Like the situations I write, I want to, like, I want to be like, wow, those situations scare I me. I would not want to be in. Um, because a lot of horror movies I see, I'm just like. No, I, 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 horror movies do scare me, but most of them, I just don't really enjoy that much. But a fucking... Well, what's your favorite type of horror movie? Ones that are, like, psychological, where it's like, uh... I, I don't get scared by, like, haunted house movies that much, just because it's like... See, I think ghosts are cheap, because then they can just appear at anywhere. And, and also, like it's like, you always kind of know the ending to most ghost movies. It's kind of cliche. And it's like, also, if you don't... I guess for a horror movie to scare me, it has to be something that can seem kind of real. So then... I can like f actually feel the fear because if like it's a something giant like an ape going through a high rise. Exactly. But if see, it's like ghosts. That's something you could see happen. I don't believe in ghosts. So it's like, oh, I can't feel the reality in this, so I can't get that scared. I can get like kind of excited and adrenaline pumping, but I don't really get like scared. Because I know people that watch horror movies and they get like horrified. Um, I think horror games are scary because in that your actions actually like affect what happens. So. You know, you're the you're the one in charge. But a movie, you're just kind of sitting and watching, and it's going to be the same no matter what. If there's any medium of horror I prefer, I think it's gaming. Oh, absolutely. Over, over That's movies. like the ultimate. I like the interactiveness of it. it it's the ultimate medium for horror, I think, because it's like it puts you in the situation. But I think the best horror movies that scare me aren't the ones about like ghosts and shit. It's ones about like um, technology. Yeah, like that. Humans or like humans are our world worst enemy. Psychological shit, I guess. I'm dead as fuck again. Nice. Right before the end of the level. But also at this- Oh, you were so close. Don't worry, I'm just gonna fucking ape- ape rage through this. But also at the same no, time, it's like, could you really call it a horror movie? Like, it wouldn't be classified with, like, ghost movies and shit if it was about apes. Ooh. Man, I died in the very beginning. Monkey dead. 
Uh, I'm gonna be I I, and then Ryan. You, you know, you know what, dude? I'm gonna I be, be Mimi. Oh, you wanna be Mimi? Yeah. Okay, I'll be I I. You could be uh. There you go. I'll let you, you select steal my girl. Well, I kind of wanted to be. Mimi. Dude, she ain't. Yo, she's not wearing a top. Do you notice that? She's the best monkey. I I I I. The guy wears a shirt, but but Mimi doesn't wear a shirt. She doesn't need to. Why? Uh, because she ain't got them big chimp titties. Exactly, like I I does. Yo, why don't why are human women the only like females that have like big breasts? Why don't what why you, what? you don't see like orangutan with, like big bodacious breasts? <laughs> yeah, with breasts. like big large titties. I don't know. Uh, cows got pretty big breasts. I guess, but like monkey nipples are also super long too. They are long. If, like if you look at a picture of, of monkey nipples, it's they are surprisingly long. You could swing from them. Like you could grab onto those things. And that you ain't could, no vine. Uh, you can make it a vine if you want. I'm sure you could make a vine like the the video type of vine out of monkey nipples. Yeah. Would you? How much money would you take to suck on a monkey's nipple? How much money would I take like, to like, suck on a monkey? Let's say let's say some like some some rich billionaire is like Ryan. I want you to uh suck, suck on upon an nipple. orangutan's nipple. Please. Oh, should Let we verse in each other? Suck on a nipple. Oh oh. What's what's the minimum you would take just to suck a suck a monkey's nips? A minimum? Yeah. Let's just say... And it's not like a sexual thing. It doesn't have to be a sexual $20, thing. $20,000. I do $10,000. Um, well, I don't know. Because it, it, it's like a weird thing. You know, like... Fuck, fuck! Dude, you just fucking died! I'm off to a bad start right there. But, I, but I'm, I'm not done with this conversation about the, the nipples. Yeah? I would like... I, I would do... You know what? I'll do $15,000. 15000 15, No, dude, you know what? Like... Like, people work their ass off at minimum wage jobs yeah. just to make, like, $400. I don't know what diseases his monkey has. Okay, well, let's say the monkey's been tested. Monkey has no diseases. Oh, then 10000 easy. If it's, like, just a clean monkey nipple, I'll suck on that for $10,000. And, and it's just, like, it's, it's... I might even suck on it for $5,000. I do it for five. Honestly, I do it for 1000 if it was just, like, a cheap, like... I'm not like, sure 1000 if Actually, it, you know what? If if someone's like, dude, I'll give you a thousand dollars if you just suck a little bit on this monkey. Like just like a like a few seconds of just like. Yeah, I might. I mean, I might have to. So. Like it's nothing like overtly sexual. Like and the and the monkey doesn't take it as a sexual thing. Yeah. But then the big question comes in is like, is hey, the dude. <laughs> <laughs> is the monkey consenting to that? You know, it's like. But it's not overtly sexual. Oh no, I mean sucking on a nipple is sexual, regardless of how you, you know, it's like, is it? Whoa, dude. No, it's not, because oh, is that? Your mother's breastfeed, that's not sexual. So, no, sucking on a nipple I is mean, only sexual if you make it sexual. Give me this shit, baby. Sorry, man, I'm getting distracted thinking about this fucking, like, hypothetical. I remember uh, my first liked video on YouTube ever was the video of the monkey peeing in its own mouth. It's the first video I ever had in my favorites. Did you feel proud of yourself? I did. I watched it frequently. My friend and I, my friend Fabian and I watched it all the time. How we, cool. have we not mentioned like one of the best things in Kyoto? Oh yeah. That's right. We met up with Ryan's family. <laughs> <laughs> I think I came. <laughs> Holy shit. That's oh. rich. That was good. That was really funny, Jackson. Thank you. We uh <laughs> we went to the monkey park, uh, where there were a bunch of wild monkeys running around and screeching and screaming and hooting and hollering. Making loud noises. The pamphlet lady said, do not look them in the eye. Because <laughs> they will tell Matt looks them Matt looked one directly in the eye and waited for it to like get mad. <laughs> no, what he did, a, a, a woman looked at one of them in the eyes and it went after this woman, the guy didn't chase it down the mountain. <laughs> That's not everything when the guy like yells at them and chases Dude, them. Whatever like, ah! they whatever they fight, he's like, hey! Hey! And he has to like run with a <laughs> stick and break him up. I saw him like chase them all the way down the mountain once, and he's like, "Hey, hey!" <laughs> my like, favorite Sir. part though is I, I, I threw an apple to one, oh but my it God. fell, and so the monkey jumped off and landed on another monkey, and they started fighting, and he bit the, this monkey below who just held on, and like Aah! he bit his neck, and, and that monkey pissed its tail, <laughs> and then all like then honestly like ten monkeys just all started fighting each other. Like you, Harrison like a started a huge monkey fight so by funny. accident with a little piece of apple. My like, favorite thing was just never tried to feed them like a peanut. I'd set it to where it's like just under their reach, and like reaching through the cage, like trying to grab the peanut, and it's like slowly inch it towards them. Easy, there you go. Okay, okay. Now let's just finish this off. Yeah, finish finish the big chimp. 
The big ape. I wish it was a big chimp. Favorite, fa ape. favorite, favorite monkey style primate. Go. Uh, <laughs> uh. I gotta go with the classic fucking orangutan, dude. Orangutans, yeah, those are pretty good. Yeah, they're really, like, I love their looks. I might have to agree with you, Justin. Well, there's also the classic Steve Irwin video of him with the orangutan in the tree. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think, for me, it's gonna have to be just... I Chimp? think chimps, yeah. Chimps, chimps are tried and, tried and true. I don't know, dude, monkeys are also just, just funny. Chimps just look fucking goofy. I know. Like, just, I love chimp videos. <laughs> Just video, video, I don't know, dude. Like, I, I need people to send me more funny monkey videos. Yeah. I mean, we, we can, I mean, we, we started a chat. Yeah, we, we have a Twitter uh, DM chat where we just send, like, it's just called monkey chat, and there's just lots of monkey videos being sent back and forth. Wait, why am I not in this? I, I went in on the monkey videos. I love monkeys. Well, do you have any good ones to, to send? Um... Have so far, no, no one's sent any but me so far. I'm sorry, I got, I gotta up my game. I sent the one of like the, the hot girl, uh, laying and like the the monkey is like laying on his back, stroking her hair, and then I sent the one of the little monkey cleaning the dashboard. Well, how about this? I'm sending you a photo right now in real time of me pulling a centipede out of a headless monkey's Damn, body. Damn, dude, Shinobi execution. Not only that, Matt. Oh well, that's the perfect place to give me that notification. <laughs> Oh, and, and that, yeah, right yeah. in the middle of some, like, yep. dope. Yep. Okay, there we go. Fuck, kill that centipede. Damn. Alright. Immortality severed. <coughs> Look, little enough. monkey! Little monkey! Ooh, Aww. ooh! George? <gasps> Dude, you've still been collecting so many little animals. This is my least favorite level of the whole game. It's, it's... You want a back rub? I mean... Hey Thanks. Justin. Okay, that's what. I wasn't trying to goof on you. I'm trying to relax, give you release the tension. I know, Justin, to man. It's okay. not. It's nothing personal. To release the tension. It's never anything personal. Throw up that. the video of the monkey rollerblading. Ooh. Have you seen that one? Yeah. Have Can you seen we, that one, Justin? It, I've seen it. Can we show that? Because like they make monkeys do shit. Like they train them to do things, and then it, they, it's like, like the whole cool they, like thing. beat them. Okay, well, what about the video of the dude? There we go. What about the dude spinning the monkey around? Like he's like hanging onto its hands and and spinning it in circles. Yes. Okay, that one. And Put then that up. That's a really there, here's hard that video. Okay. Or the monkey being tickled too, and he's laughing. And then also here's a video of the the dude on the on the bicycle with the monkey, just just biking around with it. But Have no, you guys seen that but one? But no rollerblading monkey. <sighs> if That's Justin's if, call. I just want to make sure that what rollerblading? Are you no. calling me a monkey? Oh, so so you're saying you're worried that maybe the monkey was was cruelly forced to Yeah, I just yeah. How do I check my upvoted shit? Uh, it's not can in you? saved. You can. Yeah. I did. No, you I, can't check what you've upvoted. I did a bit. Like I I remember maybe. going through my upvotes like not too long ago. I know you can do it on Instagram and look at posts you've liked. I didn't know I could look at posts I've liked. Yeah, it's insane. I know people can see like. I, I don't know how to look at posts I've ah, liked. There we go. Upvote. I don't know how to also look at other people's likes. I just they just point. chronologically. Hold up, Ryan, show me the monkey. He's that's pretty well trained. I mean, I don't see any. Oh, whoops, sorry. I don't see any. Uh, not playing. I, I mean, don't see any whips or see leashes that? or I don't. See All right, put the rollerblading video in Wait, right here. Wait, there's a collar on him. Oh, fine. There's the rollerblading monkey. There you go. There it is. He's, he did a little jump. Well, just look at him move. Like he's like. I he's hope that monkey's doing good though, because I like little monkeys like. He that. looks chill. The the only. Like primate that I fucking hate are chimps. I fucking hate chimps. Really? They're, they're I, assholes. I like dude. the look of chimps, but they are they are known to go a little uh, a little ape shit. Go a little goofy sometimes. Matt, have you never seen the video of the chimps hunting monkeys and they take the baby monkeys and they bite their heads off while they're alive? And they eat them while they're alive. I too? have not seen that. Video. The video is like called brutal uh, ch chimpanzee. Tribe, yo, hunts. I did whatever. just think of a good name for a game we can make, Chimpocalypse. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I want to show you something real quick, and we might have talked about this on a very early episode of the podcast. But have you ever seen that uh, sample that 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 meteor that came from Mars in the '90s, and uh, they put it under a microscope, and it was that? It's a fossil. Really? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's fully real, and it looks just like a like a microorganism, like fossilized. So uh, the consensus is it's still up for debate, but you know a lot of people think that it is um, from the point when Mars, because Mars had liquid water, it had an atmosphere, it was it would have been able to sustain life before Earth would. 
uh, or even while Earth was able to. So it's it's fully plausible that Mars could have gotten to the point where it could develop, you know, uh, organisms like not advanced, but like you know, in the same realm of like bacteria and, and amoebas. What so, life would exist on a gas giant? No, you can't. It can't exist on a gas giant. Not our life. Well, they don't have like a surface. Well, isn't isn't the gas so dense that it kind of is? Yeah, but I don't how I don't know how anything. But, would be but able that's to what exist. I'm saying. It's like we can't comprehend it. But is there some? Is there? There has to be at least one gas planet out there that has, life that has it? its own kind of thing going on. Because hmm. when you think of aliens, right, we think of uh, you know either bug-like, bipedal, something that exists in our realm of things. But what if it's like something we can't comprehend? Yeah, that's that's because people always make out aliens to be that there's human like human like or bugs. But I wonder even, even alien and alien. It's a guy in a suit. Yes. But like it's still humanoid, even though you're like, oh, it looks like a dinosaur type of thing. It's very, you know, it walks on two legs, has two arms. Well, I want to know if life develops the same across the universe, though, like if if the formula for life and the way it develops is specific to earth or where life would develop generally obviously things would evolve different on but different, different species and stuff too. different species but i wonder if like overall like i would imagine if we found another advanced planet that has like millions of species we'd probably find a lot of similarities between species we have and species they have yeah in terms of like bugs and animals and plants you know but does every planet have its apex species because we are that of earth it, there have to be planets where that isn't figured out quite yet. Just like before humans made it big, we were just fucking monkeys. Dinosaurs. Right? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but there's different kinds of dinosaurs. There was not one species. Of dinosaur. That was like, you know, we're, we run things. We're going to hunt everything and we're going to sell things and be nice to each other, you know? Yeah. Well, I guess I can't think of it as like a human thing. Dude, I was thinking, I was talking about this yesterday with Harrison and Carson. This is, this is something I've never thought about before, and you probably haven't either, but it blew my mind. Think about how strong a gorilla is, right? Yeah. Gorillas have not learned as a species that they're capable of working out and getting stronger. <laughs> so if a gorilla was able to figure that out and use its max potential to gain as much muscle as possible and strength as possible, think about how fucking strong gorillas would be. <laughs> I read something that was all... like they'd be able to lift like twelve tons or some shit. Well, I think they generally in the wild work out every day, right? I mean, not to their full potential. But imagine a gorilla that's full potential. Like think of like you think of us and then think of bodybuilders. Think of like a gorilla doing that shit. Like think of like I want to see the biggest, buffest gorilla out there. That would be like an uh, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. In 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 the great. Oh, did you spill a drink? Again, it's an old drink. Ooh. In the grand scheme of things... Wait, is that the one you spilled on the last episode, too? Yes. <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, aren't gorillas essentially, like... I think I've said this before. Aren't they the orcs of, human like, humanity? Like, we have, like, regular monkeys, which are, like, the little goblins. We have humans, which are humans. <laughs> and then we have, like, gorillas, which are, like, the strong, dumb orcs. And, like, capuchin monkeys, like, little tiny, like, fairy elves. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's, uh, I never thought of it that way, yeah. You got the big dumb orcs, it's like, you don't want to go in their territory. They they just don't, they, they'll they rip you apart. They got blind strength. Bl they, because, like, a gorilla could already just absolutely decimate me then within a matter chimpanzees, of seconds. Chimps are, ch chimpanzees would be the dwarves, because they're still strong, but they're, they're, they're not as big as the orcs, and not as tall. They're not as tall as us, man. Where are orangutans, Paul? Orangutans, 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 orangutans would be like the oracles, because <laughs> they like the old wizard that's like sitting there <laughs> yeah. like looking into a crystal ball. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, dude. Those or, 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 orangutans really do kind of freak me out. They don't look right. I like them. No, I no, I do too. They're just like, kind of like the thing with their the with their on the side of their face. You know, yeah. It looks like when God was like he was creating them, he it, it was Play Doh and he smushed his finger <laughs> into it and fucked it up. It was like, he, oh, I'll go with it. it he, he, I guess orangutans. It, when you think about it, they kind of look like a a fugly, one of Floop's fuglies. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I'm, I'm. Is it orangut orangutan? Orangut orangutan? Orangutan? 
they they have interest. It's the things on the side of their face, you know. I just like because they have such little, like little beady eyes. They, they have always tiny just, ass eyes. They look like they're just, they're the perfect. <laughs> they're so funny. I think they're the I think they're the funniest looking. They're uh, the perfect hillbilly esque looking monkey. Like I could imagine them just sitting on a rocker on a porch, you know. Oh, at, just w- back back and forth with like a little like straw in their mouth. <laughs> yeah, a little straw hat overall. I think it's because they get uh, out, of, out of all the primates, they they have the kind of like uh, it looks like they have facial hair. It looks like they have real shaggy long hair. So and and they have just kind of a simple look to them. Yeah, where they just look kind of like simple. Like this is this one I'm talking about. See the side of its face. Yeah. Like that's that's what freaks me out. It looks like <laughs> it looks like it's some advanced alien life form where it it, it like opens up and it has like a face. If decoy. it didn't have hair, we'd think it was this weird alien creature. I want to see what it looks. Have you ever seen a hairless chimp? Yes, but I have not seen an, a hairless orangutan. Orangutan. Hairless chimps still look like chimps. They look terrifying. Hairless. Hairless orangutan. I gotta look this up. Um, There's got to be a picture of one. It is scary how similar they are to us. Okay, all I can... Oh. <laughs> Dude. So, chimpanzees... I'm finding a lot of chimp pictures. Look, at here's... here's a... <laughs> that is so weird looking. It's look just at a, Just look at their proportions. It's like just the, an old, the, stupid, naked old man. The <laughs> pot belly and the little skinny arms. I love when it comes down to it, like, monkeys are just stupid people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, essentially, they're just like whenever I see a person with a pet monkey. Look at, one look of my at favorite little... videos of a monkey is one uh, I liked it recently on Twitter. It's the one where they're all around a bonfire and it's like, "Ooh, are you ready for dinner?" And it's like, it's like "Ooh, ooh, ooh, ooh!" ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> like, please go see, go try to find that video if you guys can. It's it's so good. It's like a bonfire and he's just filming this chimp. He's looking in the camera and he's just like, "Ooh." He's, he's like, so you ready? Are you ready for dinner? He's like, whose feet are those? Are you ready Woo! for dinner? He's like, so excited Woo! for dinner. Woo! But it like, sw- switches so chain. It's like, ah! 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 <laughs> and the video cuts off, right? <laughs> yeah. When he starts screaming really loud. <laughs> I was going to ruin my voice for uh, the rest of the day. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. I can already feel my throat. You know, after you. Yep, that raw, like, <sighs> it's like, it has to whoop, get back into a spot. I feel that for sure. I'm man. here. We have to go find all the villagers. Pee Wee is running around. Pee Wee is a is gorilla. And oh, what? Gorilla characters are the rarest, like primates. Wait, are we sure that we have Pee Wee? Yes. Is it's Pee Wee always in the town? No, it's, it randomizes which villagers. Wait, get. so we get a, we get Pee Wee, who's a gorilla. Yeah. Where's Pee Wee? I got, we got to find Where him. Where does Pee Wee live? Uh, there he oh, is. Oh, Pee Wee! Oh, oh my dude. God, dude. <laughs> I love them, and also if you don't talk to them enough or they don't like you or something, they can just move away, and the new villagers move in. So he's the one we cannot let move away. Dude, you know what'd be amazing if in the next Grand Theft Auto you had to play as an escaped ape from a zoo, <laughs> and so you can steal cars and shit and go on rampages and pick people up and throw them. <laughs> oh my! If they made a I fucking would love that's that. another game idea. That would it's be GTA, amazing. but the A stands for ape, and you're no gorilla theft ape. Boom, <laughs> boom, baby. Boom, right? That's great. GTA. <laughs> And it's you literally just run around a city. You got to steal cars, and you're just a you can big pick up like big bars and like beat people with them. And, and you shit. can you can like get different T-shirts for like your gorilla and like hats. And shit. <laughs> yes, dude. Yes, one hundred percent. Yo, that would be so fun. We, we gotta make some fucking. We gotta start <laughs> making games, man. Like we have so many the Borat like Animal Crossing <laughs> the game. Borat Animal Crossing. The f- Jackson. So I, sorry, I thought I saw someone. No, there is someone outside the door. Okay, it's Jax. I got scared for a second. I saw like a like just a big black figure <laughs> up against the door. Is he on us? Oh. I did the scare from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about that. Dude, that like that one got me. Which one? The one where it's just like it's just like a painting in the like the door. Oh like, yeah. It just looks like. <laughs> I I get mad with that shit all the time. Yeah, because it's that's my favorite way to scare people is like. When they're doing something, I'll like go in a corner, I'll like be somewhere, and then I'll just stare at them and just stay still. And you don't scream or anything. No, it's even scary. It's scary because it's it's the it's the concept of honestly, I think it's a it's an evolutionary thing. Where Something's it's like, been watching me this whole time. Like like a predator is is see like watching me. It's a predator watching me. But it's it, it I, th- I think that's where that comes from. You know, like if you're a monkey way back in the day, and all of a sudden you see a tiger staring at you through the bushes, it's gonna elicit. You're gonna the freak same out. Yeah. So. Uh, bye, Jackson. Bye, Jackson. But basically, uh, bye. Jackson, can I have some, is the coffee here? Yeah. Yes. Um, 
a glass of coffee. Give, give me a glass of coffee, Garcon. Um, but I think that's probably where that comes from. Like, back in our DNA, back when we were little monkeys and we'd see a big tiger. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Dude, a monkey getting killed by a tiger is one of the funniest things to me. Have you seen this? Many times in person. It's just funny. They, the way they hoot and holler. Have you seen monkeys killing each other, though? Dude, it's brutal. We've all seen that video where it's like the most brutal chimpanzee colony. and what You know that video that I'm talking about? It's been like oh, yeah. sent out to everyone. I haven't watched it. Have but you I... actually watched it, Jackson? Yeah. What do you think about it? <laughs> kind of boring. Kind of boring? I, I, you I, thought it was boring when the you, monkey Jackson. was eating the brain of the other monkey who was like still that. alive? I haven't seen Or the when video. they were ripping the limbs off of the baby monkeys? Some more, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, this is good, dude. Sorry. It's actually really good. Video. <laughs> yeah, I was I, like, it's crazy. It's kind of boring. I was like, really? <laughs> Guess what, stupid? What? Who left the freezer open? Guess what? <laughs> because we're gonna have to cool this solution. So we'll put the solution somewhere to cool it. I wish. I wish. They're trying to. They're trying to fucking stream silently out of the other room. <laughs> We're in here just for no reason. It's not even funny. <laughs> just doing fucking monkey screams. Oh come on. Wrong hole. Go get another one. What? Ooh 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 oh. ooh 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 ah. Uh. Uh. I sounded like a monkey there. I, I, ooh, 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 ah. Yesterday I saw for the first time how Gibbons monkeys look when they do that. Uh, oh, they that oh, 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 I know they got that oh, big oh, ball oh, in there. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 oh. You're really good at that. At the uh, the Riverbank Zoo is where you can hear them a shit ton back in uh, Columbia, South Carolina. That's, your monkeys are as annoying as hell with the sounds they make. It's like they'll just be ho hooting and hollering. It's like, why y'all doing that? You're in a zoo. Stop. I mean, you and I could be loud if we wanted to, but we're we're not at all times. I know we can be very chill. You think monkeys can just be like? <laughs> they do. They're pretty low a, a lot of the times. Like a, like a like a soft cooing. Yeah. You know? By the way, I I played a Jackson and I played a little bit of uh, <sighs> ancestors oh, human. Gonna... What is it called? Human. I don't know. Odyssey. Whatever Detroit that. become human. <laughs> no. Um. That is that monkey game. Haha. <laughs> uh. It's the evolution one. Yeah, that one, and it was bad. I didn't like it. That's disappointing. I I, I wanted a fun monkey. I game. really liked the idea of that game. Okay, I, I don't want to say it's horrible because there definitely maybe it's are just not worse for us. games. Yeah, maybe it's just not, or maybe also what we expected from it. We got too excited about just the fact that See, there were monkeys. Yeah, I care. I too wanted much. a fun game. We need a monkey game though. We need like. I, honestly, I think the best game idea is, is Grand Theft Auto, but it's with monkeys. I was talking to Justin uh, last night, and I was just saying, how much fun would you have in Grand Theft Auto? Like, here's the, here's the premise, right? You start off in a zoo, and then you escape from the zoo. And you know how in the beginning of every open world game, you think of like, not every open world game, but stuff like it. Like Saints Row and Grand there, Theft Auto, the first mission is to, man, you need to get yourself some new clothes. You know, yeah. that type of shit? You do that. Monkey, you need to get yourself new clothes. Yeah, the monkey needs to get new clothes. He goes and ransacks a JC Penny. Yeah, he goes and gets some new clothes so he's in disguise, or, so people or, can't tell who he is. Maybe he needs to go to Banana Republic. <laughs> Man, that was funny as fuck. Thank you. Ryan, but the, here's the thing. Last night, we were talking on our way to Tiki Tuesday, and you said how much fun, like, I, I wish that they had made, like, Monkey GTA, and I said, but Ryan, here's the thing. You can oh, make this. fuck me. It's good they didn't make it, because no one's made it, which means we can make well, that. Same, it, would like, be too, it would be too much. I'd want it to be, like, very high quality. We'd have to hire a team. Model. It would be, like... I, I, if I was a billionaire, 100, I'd, I'd hire a team instead right of away like to get funding research and like uh, like helping like no, sick monkey children. GTA. It's like, like I'm putting all my money to fund Monkey GTA. Corey, Corey, Corey in the house. Yeah, it's a party, party every, every week, week, baby. Corey, 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 check it out. That's right, I'm in the house. You wanna shake it up and change it? If it take it all and rearrange it. Yeah. yeah. I'm gay. <laughs> That's not what they say, dude. Are you sure? I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. 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 Dude, imagine how forward-thinking Disney would have been if it was just like. I'm gay and that's okay. Yeah. I'm gay and that's okay. You should be gay too, children of America. 
Now that would just be that would just be infecting the mind. The liberals would be. I feel like that's what my dad thinks. Pushing the, I feel like my dad thinks that's, that's what, what Disney like, Channel yeah, does like, now. If you're a kid, you should be a gay. They'll be like they'll be like acting when the parents are in the room. It's like, okay, here's a try. The parents leave. The, here's a triangle. You have to let the gays into your home and have sex with them. If you're a boy, you want to be a girl now. <laughs> <laughs> like just shit like that. They think it's being like you, taught. We will hopefully eventually be able to marry primates and then move on to other subservient Ooh. animals like dogs, cats, hamsters, guinea pigs, and in fact, maybe even ferrets. Ooh. Okay. Will that ever be legal in our lifetime? No. Why are you so pessimistic? <laughs> I don't think that's pessimism. I think that's that's real. Don't just you want realism. freedom and equality? Not to that extent. Too, so you're saying too much freedom is a bad thing? I don't. I don't want to catch some guy... Like using his ferret as a sleeve for his cock. People are going to, f you know what's funny? No. Regardless if that's legal, people are still going to fuck animals. I don't want to think about that. Why, dude? Makes me jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Just knowing I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, that shit's weird. What are the cops going to do? Arrest me? Yeah, that's going to be normal in about 10 years. I tell you what, with the way society's going. Yeah, have you seen California lately? Have you seen Mr. Hands? You know, I'm surprised that the, uh, the uh, you know, COVID, this whole thing's a virus created by China that actually turns uh, all, all Republicans into Democrats and thus uh, th th making them support the gay communities, it which makes, are approaching uh, into our uh, inner cities and streets. And uh, it, it, it's like it's like gentrification, but it's more like gay gayification. And it's uh, it, it actually turned several Republican senators uh, actually uh, became transgender after the COVID hit. So it's that to take into, into account, too. I like I like how the whole thing it's like it totally dismisses like the long term struggle this person is ha like having with their identity where it's like I just became yeah, trans just one day trans. it's like poof I'm trans and now wake up it's like you know what I'm <laughs> trans without ever having like a single thought before that or, like feeling no. it's like they woke up and the trans fairy came and in the middle of the night and sprinkled trans dust upon yeah. them and they be they just instantly become trans when they wake <laughs> up that's sick. Dude. But do you think really like what's what do you think is going to be normalized in our life that as of right now you're like oh fuck no, hmm. marrying chimps? No, that'd be awesome. <laughs> no, would it? No, it'd be awesome just to like read about it. I, I... dude, chimps got to get their rocks off too. Yeah, to other chimps. <laughs> Have you seen them? What about them? A, a, a human woman's a lot more beautiful than a female chimp. Yeah, but the chimp doesn't know that. They probably think a human woman's disgusting. Give them some credit, man. They probably like ugh. No, dude, give him some credit, man. They're, What's with the symmetry smart. in this bitch's face? Okay, can I please, uh, I brought this up on a recent podcast, or Let's Play, about the chimpanzee wars in the 1970s. Yeah, it's crazy. Can I can I read you a little, I'm gonna read the audience a little, uh, summary real quick. Chimpanzee, I think it's called the Gombe War? Listen to this. <laughs> oh, I like on Google, it's labeled as a military conflict. <laughs> Labeled as a military conflict. Because it conflict. is a military conflict. This is crazy, guys. I didn't know chimps did this. The Gombe Chimpanzee War was a violent conflict between two communities of chimpanzees in Gombe Stream National Park in Tanzania, lasting from 1974 to 1978. The two groups were once unified in the Kasakela community. But 1974, researcher Jane Goodall noticed the community splintering. And over a span of eight months, a large party of chimpanzees separated themselves into the southern area Dr. of Kasakela. Jane Doolittle? Yeah. <laughs> Did I say Doolittle? No. Oh. You said Goodall. <laughs> and were renamed the Kahama community. The separatists consisted of six adult males, three adult females with their young. The Kasakela was left with eight adult males, 12 adult females, and their young. But what's crazy is uh, there's like strategy and shit. Like throughout the years, like planned and like planned attacks. There's a there's that whole uh, we've talked about it before. There's that whole video on YouTube where it's just like the champ, the chimpanzee wars, the brutal chimpanzee wars. And it's like, yeah, they'll they'll like tear apart the other clans young in front of them to be like, <laughs> get the fuck out of our land. They'll like eat people alive. Oh, gee, listen to this. War. First blood, don't, he's covering his ears, guys. <laughs> I'm just okay. First blood was drawn by the Kasakela community on January 7, 1974, when a party of six adult Kasakela males consisting of Humphrey, Fegan, Jomeo, Sherry, Everett, and Rudolph ambushed the isolated Kahama male, Gotti, while he was feeding on a tree. This was the first time that any of the chimpanzees had been sent, seen to deliberately kill a fellow male chimp. Uh, after they had slain Gotti, the victorious chimps celebrated 
boisterously, throwing and dragging branches with hoots and screams. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> Dude, well, like, I love that's what we did back in the day, I know. like cavemen and shit. I love how that's how like they haven't developed the mental capacity to express emotion like in a more complex way. Well, so think- it's just. <laughs> Just throwing well, I mean, sticks. It's, well, even not that long ago. Like, think about um, like n- Native American battle cries, even Confederate soldier battle cries, where they're like, yeah. they're just fucking noises. Yeah, I, I, that is. I, I guess that does harken back. It's still in our DNA. Or like the most famous uh, Republican one. <laughs> You'd hear that coming over the hill. Oh God! Boom, boom. Okay, boom. There, there's a. And then listen to this. After Goaty fell. Day was taken out next, and then Hugh. Later on came the elderly Goliath. Throughout the war, Goliath had been relatively friendly with the Kasakela neighbors when encounters occurred. However, his kindness was not reciprocated, and he was killed. God damn, bro. Only three Kahama males remained Charlie, Sniff, and Willy Wally, who was crippled from polio. <laughs> they killed him. Willy Wally disappeared and was never seen again. The last remaining Kahama male, the young Sniff, survived for over a year. Wow. Jesus. They took over their territory. These territorial gains were not permanent, however. Oh, damn, dude. Another tribe came in and... Another fucking tribe. That's crazy. That's insane. Yeah. I, ne- you, I never think of communities like chimps as that smart or like that, you know, because a lot of animals just kind of are on autopilot. But this shows that they're that chimps are thinking. Well, I mean, they're, they're hap- to. I guess we see it as autopilot, but like they're actually like, like we see it as just given nature, but like animals fuck up like hunting. It's not yeah. like, I mean, they are designed to do specific things, but it's not like, you know, I feel like just like with dogs, there's some dogs that are really smart and they're just kind of like trained really well and stuff. And then there are other dogs who just probably just will never get it. Who are untrainable almost, I would say. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like or maybe just they're maybe they're the most based because they're not listening. They're just so beta. They're not listening to the the their master. They're yeah. doing their own thing, so they're pretty based. They're not listening to Kanye. Mm-hmm. Sorry, yay, 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 yay. Oh, a flying oh, it's a little monkey, monkey dragon. Here's the power Recky. of lightning. I got a cough, Ryan. Okay, go ahead and will, do will it. You excuse me while I go ahead and cough. That <coughs> <coughs> should be good. I can send him off and he'll be like, whoa! Woo! Dude, he wrecks shit up. That's why he's called Recky. Well done, Bill. Yeah, I know. Uh-oh. Nice. Now I need to go over there. Hold on. Go over there. Get him. Yeah, just get stopped by the rock. Good job, monkey. Idiot. Hey. What? Monkeys are stupid. They're the most human-like creatures on Earth besides humans. Yeah, but who's smarter? We are. That's a good point. We won. If it ever came to a war between the primates and humans... Oh, well, humans are primates. Everyone in the comments is going to be like, Humans are primates! You know what I mean when I say primates and humans. Then, uh... I think we'd lose, Ryan. I don't know. I think they'd, uh, I think they'd kick our asses. You th- well, of course. I mean, you versus a gorilla, there's no doubt. <laughs> any any human versus a gorilla. He would string me up by my toes and rip me to pieces. I would love to fight a gorilla. Well, no, that's not true. I would not love to do that, but I'm sure people would love to see that. I would love to see it. You know what I'm curious about? What? What is the record? <laughs> what is the record for, like, highest casualties from one primate? Like, one monkey? Because, you know, there's got to be some point in history where, like, one ape, like, went bananas and just fucking killed, like, 50 people. Right? Like, has there ever been a monkey massacre? Like, a, like a mass, a mass Not monkey. of other monkeys, but of humans, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, like the, like a monkey escapes and kills a shit ton of people. Like, I'm sure there's had to have been, like, a monkey massacre at some point. The, the Great, Great monkey, monkey Massacre. <laughs> Whoa! Fucking same wavelength there, episode? dude. episode! It has to be now because we said it at the same time. No, no, no. Oh, 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 hey. oh, 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 oh. All right, guys. Well, uh, if there's more to do and you want to see us play more with Chad, let us know, and we definitely will. Because I, I had a fun time with this, and uh, actually, we have a little surprise for all you guys. We do have a live chimpanzee. Brent, bring him in. Oh. <laughs>